Hello everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today's another Skype tool video. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over the anti copy messaging. Um, it's sort of not really anti copy, but it's sort of the name it got given. Um, I'll explain it as I go along how that it works and stuff, um, and how you sort of can copy it and can't. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Let me just find a bit of empty space. Um, this will do. So, what you need is uh, for some reason the toolbox isn't loading. There we go. What you need is a text box just to tell the username you want to send the message to, and then you just need a button um, to send the message. So, what you want to do inside the button is we literally want to type skype.send message, seeming as we want to send a message. Um, uh, for the username, obviously it's the text box we have, which is just uh, 38. So, text box 38. Dot text and now for the message what we're going to be using is actually a unicode character uh, if you don't know what this is it's basically used a lot on websites for the icons and things like that um, but a lot of it's built into windows there's a lot of these characters uh, literally thousands uh, but there's the one we're using specifically is reversing text um, so we're going to use it for reversing text and then actually reverse the text again within Skype so it looks normal but it's actually the other way around uh, it's a bit of an illusion so I'll be covering that uh, um, I'll actually google the character we're going to be using so we're going to be using the 8238 one um, you can type chrw and then type 8238 this is the one we're going to be using and if you google it you'll see it's used a lot within rats and spoofing because it's good for reversing stuff uh, so that's the one we're using for this now if you could google visual basic unicode characters or a unicode character list and you'll find a whole lot of these unicode characters and if you find some cool ones you can create something that probably no one's got in their tool yet um, so basically just look around you might come across something that's pretty cool um, and hopefully you do if you do if you want to let me know um, I'm always open to ideas so feel free to comment if you find a cool one right so now for the message what we want to do is we want to wrap this in brackets because we're going to be using uh, these characters here so what we want to type is um, chrw and inside here we want to say 8238 because that's the one we're going to be using and just after the bracket here I know there's a lot but this one here we want a, a, an and because we want to put our text in between we need to like have it wrapped inside these so what we do is our text would go here and sorry I actually made we need another text box for the message so we'll have the message there like that and that's number 39 so we'll have our message here text box 39 dot text and we want another and and then we want another character so chrw8238 like that and I'll show you how that works without us reversing the text so let's give this a start here I might have to um, allow it on Skype nope so let's let this load up uh, the reason it's taken so long is because we got some checks that has to download something online my connection isn't the best at connections um, so inside here I'll just send it to my test account uh, so let this load fully and the message will just be test so if I send that now and go into Skype you'll see the message has been sent and uh, you can see it says test but it's backwards um, you see if I if I get my mouse you can see each letter I go over each letter moves and the message gets jumbled up but that's all good that'll be it working but we want to send the message normally because if we send it like this it's always backwards um, so to actually get the effect that people see a normal message we want to reverse the text as well so what we do to do that is we use um, strings dot reverse so strings dot str reverse or is it just reverse I believe no I'm pretty sure it's str reverse these strings There we go, that was a bit complicated there. 
strings.str reverse and inside brackets then we have our text so uh, I'll leave that here if you want to pause and quickly have a look and I'm going to launch that up now and I'll show you now how that works so let's try that again intrusion skybox um, test send that message now you see we sent the message and it actually looks normal now it just looks like it says test so to anyone you sent that to it looks normal if they if you were to say to them try copy the message they'll copy it like so and they'll see it's all jumbled up and it's just something that's pretty cool uh, it's pretty confusing to some people uh, so you can still copy it if you be careful with it if you get it more like so you can get it normal but you can copy it like this it's all backwards and stuff so yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video um, if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time